The absolute majority of the inhabitants of the former Soviet Union communicating with their own grandmothers or other older people at least once in their life heard these words. When Stalin died, people cried. It's true. At the same time, there were many citizens who greeted the news of the end of the dictator on March 5, 1953 with quiet or stormy joy. The Ministry of State Security of the MGB, the Soviet Secret Service was called such in those years, closely followed what was said about Stalin during his lifetime and continued to do this after his demise. During March 7th, 12th, every day, the MGB of Ukraine drew up reports on the people's reactions and sent them to Moscow. The MGB of other republics did the same. Of course, the special service was interested not in official speeches at morning rallies, but in people's comments in private conversations, which were recorded and transmitted by agents. Not only quotes from conversations, but also reports of people's fights over Stalin, deaths at morning rallies and other terrible things were included in these reports. I have chosen the most interesting of these documents, which are stored in the archive of the Security Service of Ukraine. Let's read them together. I am Eduard Andrushenko, and this is KGB Files. So we will begin with the most eloquent, sorrowful utterances. Our red sun has set. Our father is gone. He would have lived for a few more years and with his own eyes would have seen the completed construction of communism and the defeat of American cannibals. A historian Sergei Belousov. I look at the children leaving school, at the children playing in the kindergarten, and I think this happiness was given to them by comrade Stalin. I look at this new multi-story building and I think that Stalin built it so that people could live in bright, cheerful apartments. A children's doctor from Kyiv and Tushal. For me, the day of the loss of the person who gave me life, freedom, education and everything that people could only dream of, will forever remain the most difficult memory in my life. Shulga from Kyiv. Something happened that does not fit in my head, that I do not want to believe. Irreparable, monstrous. He would have lived, lived and lived. Shalimova from Kharkiv. I buried my husband, my son, but I did not feel such pain in my heart as I do now. A resident of Lviv, Kramarevskaya, 81 years old. Some citizens put the life of the father of nations above their own. It would be better if I gave my life. It is not so costly. And let Stalin live for the good of the people. A worker from Mykolaiv Bondarenko. We cannot be sure that all these people were sincere. Some of them probably guessed that their words would be heard not only by their interlocutors, and deliberately demonstrated their loyalty to the regime. Even after his death, Stalin continued to take human lives. Worker of the Kharkiv breeding station Krivoshei, 67 years old, non-partisan, Deputy Secretary of the Party Organization of Glove Electros Beat in Kharkiv, Kaganovich, 60 years old, and the doctor of the Jitomir Regional Hospital, Guzman, been nervously shocked by the news of the death of comrade Stalin, suddenly died while speaking at the rallies. The largest loss of life during these days occurred during the ceremony of Stalin's funeral on March 9th. 
a huge crowd took to the streets of Moscow and according to various estimates from 100 to 2000 people died in the stampede. Official figures were never published. Some people were so shocked that they independently decided to die. The corpse of Maria Alexeyeva, only 18 years old, was found on March 8th on a railway track in the area of the Zaporizhia Liva station. Her farewell note with a patriotic poem on the death of comrade Stalin was found near the body. A strange and tragic story happened in Odessa. On March the 6th at 8.40 p.m., a second-year student of the Odessa Naval Medical School Fedorov, born in 1934, after criticizing him for reading a book at a memorial meeting, stating that I am not indifferent and not an enemy, ran into the street and, despite the measures taken, threw himself under a passing tram and was killed. The so-called negative reactions were recorded less frequently, but we understand that not everyone who had it, the diseased leader dared to speak about it out loud. Let them cry, they are communists, they lived well, and we have nothing to cry except for the fact that he has set up the collective farms in which our people suffer. A worker from Zaporizhia, Ganchuk. We again thank our patron, Maxim Senjak. Everyone can help our channel on Patreon, link in the description. The archive of the security service of Ukraine contains a huge number of amazing stories, and we will be able to tell them more often with your support. That's enough for him to drink the human blood. Now it's the turn of others. I would like that such a fate befell five of them. Now America is triumphant. Our people there are unspeakably happy about everything that happened here. Kurilko from Kharkiv. Stalin died and could not even say a word. Pardon the prisoners before death. There are millions of them. Peter the Great repented before his death and freed the prisoners. God gave him a speech power before death, and Stalin immediately struck down and became speechless. Here is his punishment for his sins and for the misfortune that nations endure. A foreman of St. Andrew's Church in Kiev, Tikhomirov. On March the 6th, a 7th grade student of Lviv Secondary School No. 50, Agorinska, a Jew, during the preparation of the morning rally in response to the regret expressed by the student Kiyashko about the unwarranted death of Comrade Stalin, said, he got what he deserved. Outraged by this statement, a group of students in the class Beat Agorinska. The documents also contain reports of self made leaflets on the streets of Ukrainian cities and villages. The anonymous authors expressed their joy at the death of the tyrant. In addition, damage to portraits of the deceased and the tearing of mourning ribbons from people occurred in several regions. The MGB repressed those who did it or was looking for them. In addition, information about enemy statements was checked and if it was confirmed, the authors also were arrested. Strange phrases were sometimes heard during speeches at morning rallies. And there were hundreds of such rallies in every city and village, in every factory and collective farm. Probably the speakers made mistakes because of the intense disturbance, but these cases still got into the reports. At a memorial meeting in the Kherson City Hospital No. 2, the secretary of the party organization Rosenblatt ended his speech with a shout of Hooray! 
The director of a store in Stanislav Kotlarsky, a member of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, a Jew, at the end of his speech at the morning rally of the city executive, said, our beloved dear enemy. One of the rumors circulating in March 1953, the leader of the country was killed by doctors. The monsters, doctors, traitors to the fatherland are also guilty of the death of comrade Stalin, another teacher, pensioner Nikolaev. After the resonant anti-Semitic campaigns of the late Stalinist years, such rumors were usually supplemented by one detail – the doctors who killed Stalin were Jews. In the town of Avruch, Zhitomir region, an unsigned leaflet written in black letters was found with the following content. Comrades, Stalin was poisoned by these doctors, Jewish killers. We will avenge them for Stalin. Get out of the USSR. In Kyiv Secondary School No. 26, on March the 6th this year, at a German lesson in Grade 5, led by teacher Brandman, a student Motorenko shouted, Bid the Jews save Russia! In the second lesson, the Popov student wrote the same thing on the board. A seventh grade student Wysocinski said loudly at a biology lesson, the Jews need to be destroyed, they killed first Zhdanov and now Stalin. And now let's read what the citizens thought about the future of the USSR without the genius leader. Comrade Stalin is gone now, and we will not receive a pension. No one will bother about us. People say that the Americans want to fight. Maybe there will still be a war. Then they are completely gone. A pensioner Sirotyan from Vinnytsia region. Comrade Stalin saved us from fascism. And now the Americans can attack us because they know that he is dead. A collective farmer of Finnitsa region, Tsutskoma. Soon people learned the names of the new rulers of the USSR. Not everyone knows that for about two years after Stalin's death, not Nikita Khrushchev, but the Prime Minister Georgi Malenkov was considered Stalin's main successor and the head of the country. Comrade Malenkov has been correctly appointed. He and no one else is only fit for the place of Comrade Stalin. Comrade Stalin has been preparing him for his place for a long time. Comrade Beria has been appointed to his old place. This is also good, he has a firm hand. Gerunov living in Kyiv. The behind-the-scenes power struggle that unfolded in the following years was evident to some people as early as March 1953. Now there is a struggle for power in the Kremlin. They will shoot themselves there and announce that such and such a person died of a disease. Anyway, the current government will not last long a resident of Kalamia, Zhurkalov. I have read in history that in such cases coups were made at palaces. It can be expected that a massacre for power will begin in the Kremlin. After all, Stalin held everything and everyone in his hands alone. And now, after his death, strife will begin. Who should be in his place? Probably many of them will now lose their hats. An employee of the Kharkiv Southern Research Institute, Stepanov. Now the state may collapse. As the peoples of all the republics want to secede from the Soviet Union. A resident of Stare Lysitz village, Dubnitsky. Finally, I want to mention a paradoxical fact that clearly characterizes the cult of the leader in a totalitarian state.
A number of political prisoners left memories of how the news of Stalin's death was greeted in the Gulag camps. Some cheered and danced. For such a manifestation of emotions they could receive punishment, so others rejoiced quietly. And the third, and it may seem strange, cried with grief.